Hi there, welcome to this video on finding averages from frequency tables. So I'm going to look at two exam style questions. So first example, 20 students scored goals for the school hockey team last month. The table gives information about the number of goals they scored. So if you think of this table as a list of numbers, now generally you don't want to be writing out the list of numbers but it helps to visualize what this table represents and this is what causes so much confusion for students is they lose sight of what this table is actually representing so what we're saying is that nine students scored one goal three students scored two goals five students scored three goals and uh, three student students scored four goals now the questions that are below would probably be answered no problem at all if students saw them in this list. But when they see them in a table, they start to get confused. So do really think about what that table represents before you try and answer any of these questions. So the first question is write down the modal number of goals scored. So if you look at this list, you can clearly see that one is the most common number of goals scored and the mode is the most uh, common result. So you can see that it's one from this list. Now, from the table, what we're looking for is which is the highest number of students? What's the biggest frequency? What's the biggest total in this column? And because nine is the highest, this value is our mode. So you can see it from the list, but that's how you get it from the table. Right, work out the range of the number of goals scored. So again, if you look at our list, you've got the highest, take away the lowest. So it's four, take away one, which is the range, which is three. If you look at the table, well, one was the smallest result, four was the biggest result, so you do four take away one, which is the range. Now, the mean. Again, from a list, most people will be absolutely fine. They add them up and then divide by how many numbers they are. So let's look at how you do that on the table quickly. Well, we could add all the ones up together. So we could do nine times one, which is nine. We could do all the twos together, three times two, which is six. All the threes together, five times three, which is 15. And then three times four, or four times three, which is 12. So all we've done there is added up all the ones together, all the twos, all the threes, and all the fours. So what we need to do now is we need to add together those uh, scores here, which is the same as adding these up. So nine add six is 15, add 15 is 30, add 12 is 42. Now, remember, we'd find the total and divide by how many people um, were asked. Well, you can see from here that it's 20. We could also get that from adding this total up. So 12, 18, 20. So what we're doing is the total number of goals scored, which is 42, divide it by the total number of students, which is 20. And then we get 2.1. So that's how you'd find these averages from that table and the key to it is is realizing that all this table is is representing a list of numbers and many people are happy doing a list of numbers and working out these averages but in the table they start to um, uh, make mistakes okay let's have a look at example two so Bob asks each of his 40 friends how many minutes they took to get to work the table shows some information about his results so what we're saying is three people took between 0 and 10 minutes eight people took between 10 and 20 and so on so the difference between this table and the previous table is that this we knew the exact amount of goals scored this one that we're doing now is a group frequency table so we don't know the exact amounts we just know that three people took between 0 and 10 minutes so the question says work out an estimate for the mean time taken now the crucial bit being that it says an estimate and the reason it says an estimate is because we don't know the exact value so what we do is we use a midpoint and what I mean by that is that we use the middle value between 0 and 10 because if we know three people took between 0 and 10 minutes the most sensible value to use if we have to use one is the middle value so we're going to write down the midpoints for all of these values here so between 0 and 10 it's 5 10 and 20 it's 15 and so on now, what we did before, to quickly add them up, we did the frequency, the number of students, times by these values here. So we're going to do a similar thing. We're going to say, three people, we estimate, took five minutes. So we do three times five, which is 15. And then we do eight times 15, and so on. So the next thing we need to do is the frequency, how many people there were, times by the midpoint. Okay, so 
that now needs to be added up and that tells us the total number of minutes that were taken by all of these people. So if I add all of those up, I get 1130, 1130. We know that there were 40 people. So all we do is the total number of minutes, 1130, divide it by 40, and that gives us 28.25 minutes. So that's the estimate of the mean done. Now, the modal class interval. So class interval just means these groups here, so between 40 and 50, 30 and 40. The mode means the most common. So what it's saying is which of these was the most commonly um, frequented uh, class interval? So which one had the most people um, taking that amount of time? And you can see that it's 11. So this, between 20 and 30 minutes, is the modal class interval because that's the group in which most people um, took. Okay, well, I hope that's helped.